Hi everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajshri here. Today I'm going to discuss about Saturn's last visit to the sign of Capricorn in retrograde motion and it's happening on 12th of July. Saturn will be there in retrograde motion till 23rd of October and then you will get direct over there. During the entire transit, Saturn will remain in Dhanishta Nakshatra and on 29th of August, Saturn is going to change Navamsha and it will go to uh, Leo Navamsha, Simha Navamsha. And uh, things may turn slightly difficult, rather a lot difficult from then. So wherever in your chart, Capricorn and Aquarius signs are falling, the attributes related to those houses can cause some difficulty during those times. Now I have discussed in detail about Saturn's impact in general on all of us in my July 2022 monthly horoscope. If you want to watch that video, you will get to know in detail how Saturn is going to impact the general life. I strongly recommend that you do watch that video. The link is appearing above and is also in the description box. Coming to the predictions, these predictions are as per moon signs. There are some peculiarities or some specific terms that is related to Saturn's transit which are called Ashtamashani, Kantakshani, Sadesati and these are all measured and uh, assessed from your moon, from your natal moon not from your ascendant and if you are following Vedic astrology it's a good idea to get used to the sidereal moon signs uh, related predictions. So without further delay I start with Aries. For Aries Saturn is moving back to your 10th house and this will be your final chance to evaluate what is working for your profession and what is not. Make an assessment bring the required changes and move on. Be prepared to manage more work. Your responsibility will increase from 29th August onwards when Saturn goes into the Leo Navamsha, you may face some difficulties related to work. Do not get into any trouble with your seniors, otherwise loss of position can be there. Spouse's health, mother's health can cause worry and maintain good relation with both of them. Expenses will be high, heart related issues or a feeling of lack of mental peace can be there. Relocation is also possible. Taurus. For Taurus, Saturn is going back to your ninth house. This transit will bring back job opportunities for you. Your luck factor will get a boost. If you are making any long-term plans or travel plans, check the pros and cons carefully. However, for some of you, travel, even uh, a travel to foreign lands can happen for uh, religious reasons or for educational purposes. This will be a phase when you will not get expected returns on your investments. Fathers and siblings' health can cause concern as well. There can be some differences with them too. Take care of your own health. Do not ignore any stomach issues. Gemini Saturn will go back to your 8th house for Gemini moon signs, starting Ashtama Shani again. Take utmost care of your health. Chances of injury or accidents remain as well. Some professional changes will also be there for you if you suffer from addiction, anxiety or depression related issues. This phase can bring it back for one last time before you come out of it completely. This phase can actually bring a deep transformation in your life. And this is going to last for next 30 years. This is a very good time for spiritual practices that involves occult or tantra. Practicing meditation will also help you. Stay away from illegal financial activities. 
speculative investments and addictions cancer saturn is coming back to your 7th house on 12th july this gives you relief from the current ashtamashan impact however when back in the 7th house saturn will give you the final chance to review your partnerships professional or personal if marital troubles or conflicts with the business partners are going on for long this phase can bring separation for others spouse's health will cause concern it would be best not to get into any kind of new partnership during this time be careful of your own health too mother's health can also cause worry work related travel can be there if possible keep long distance travel after 23rd of october leo saturn is returning to your 6th house overall this is a good transit this is giving you a final chance to utilize this the for the next 6 months for professional progress be it in the business or in the job you will overcome all oppositions and all kinds of competition however after 29th august you will see some unwelcome changes in the professional life your health may also cause some concern you may then need to review your plans about your work and your health enemies may become active then relationship with your spouse's family will need some care alternatively they may face some difficulties siblings health can cause worry virgo saturn is moving back to your 5th house and if you are in creative fields or in writing you may face some kind of reversal in work but at the same time you are going to ramp up your initiatives and your own efforts in these matters as well try to avoid investing in speculative schemes or in shares and stocks prior investments also may not give desired returns some issues related to your children can bother you it can be their education or their health or it may also be the case that you have difference in opinions with them if you are a student you will need to work harder to focus on studies marital relation business partnerships or spouse's health can cause worry romantic relations can also be a bit difficult savings can erode take all financial decisions carefully libra saturn is returning to your fourth house for the next 6 months and for you finances and property related matters will need attention mental anxiety related to these matters can bother you try to avoid court cases you may feel emotionally a bit overwhelmed as well some of you may consider changing residence or even relocation can happen there will be changes in professional life these can be transfers or a change in the job that will require relocation some of you who are residing abroad may come back home mother's health will also need care take uh, good care of your own health too be extra careful of safety while traveling scorpio saturn is coming back to your third house this is going to give you the final opportunity to review your plans about your initiatives your ventures utilize this time to make all necessary changes because when saturn goes direct in october and goes out of capricorn in january 2023 there will be no chance of looking back however also be careful of being over zealous or over enthusiastic about your plans weigh all pros and cons carefully if you are born with a retrograde saturn in your chart and your dashas are supporting you will get a professional boost or a new job during this time travel is a strong possibility as well 
parents health and if you have children their health can cause some worry try to curb all kinds of wasteful expenses sagittarius saturn's move back to your second house on 12th july will bring back the third phase of sare sati for you it can cause restlessness in your thoughts family and finance related issues can bother you in the career front you may find that some of the previous issues are resurfacing both professionally and family wise you will need to bear additional responsibility during this phase try not to be too direct in your speech mother's health may need some attention relocation can happen for some of you if you can cut down on your expenses and manage finances uh, with more prudence this transit will actually bring good savings for you maintain cordiality with friends and close family members capricorn for capricorn moon signs this retrograde transit of saturn will bring back the peak of sari sati phase you have experienced uh, temporary relief since may 2022 now you need to take care of your health and your mental anxiety the same or similar issues that were bothering you before may 2022 can resurface now your spouse's health will need attention some of you will see change in job it is important not to procrastinate to avoid all kinds of conflicts and rely completely on god for mitigation of any trouble if you are a hard working person and you have been living a life of righteousness or you are already on the spiritual path you do not actually need to worry at all rather you will get rewarded for your efforts aquarius saturn is retrograding back to your 12th house and aquarius moon signs will get temporary relief from the peak of sari sati phase for you saturn is retrograde in his own sign but in the 12th house and this can bring mixed results some of you may relocate to a foreign land or to a different state or city people whose profession has some foreign connection dealing with foreign companies foreign clients they will also do well health wise all look good till the end of august thereafter you need to be a bit careful hospitalization cannot be ruled out as well for spiritual people this is a highly productive time finally pisces saturn is moving back to your 11th house you are getting relief from sari sati effects this will bring back the prosperity and positivity in your life large amount of financial gains are forcing for some of you if a promotion or a new better job was not happening so long it will happen now an auspicious event can take place at home and health wise remain a bit careful children's health or some issues related to children can cause worry Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you like, give me a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. May God bless us all.